Hey everyone, welcome to Scott's Honest Reviews. So today we are reviewing the K17 series vacuum cleaner with Psych Clone technology. So this is 200 watt power. So you get your owner's manual right here, you got your one nozzle end, some screws, you get another brush end, so we'll go ahead and open that up. So very nice brush end and the nozzle end. So you got your hose right here, which can extend very far actually, that's pretty impressive. So it looks like you got a cleaning brush end, you have your floor cleaning end. which is right here. So that can rotate and turn around. All right, so here you have your cylinder, you have your uh, filter unit and everything within here. You got your filter, you got a charging bay, and you got your battery pack. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you take off your tank here. So there's a button right inside here, and you press that down with your one finger. So you can hold it like this, press it down, twist this, so you just twist it and it comes right out. Once you take this out, you'll see that inside here, you can pull out the main reservoir, but you also could twist this and pull out the filter to clean the filter as well. So you got two little filter bays and you're good to go. Then you go ahead. Place this back in here and you twist and lock it back in place. So for the battery, the battery just simply slides right in here. Just like that. Now you press and hold the trigger. And then you can press the trigger again for faster speed. And press it again to turn it off. So you got two speeds. Go ahead and set that right there. Now this is your charging tray. We'll call it your charging house. So that just simply, you would line that up. So that would go like this. And you just simply set that on. And that is its charging bay. So as you can tell, this is wireless and charged by a battery. So you keep this plugged in at all times and keep this in here so it's always charged. And when you're ready to go, you press this silver button on the back and it comes apart from its charging tray. Okay, now that that's settled, let's go ahead and show you all the other features that you can use now. Okay, now that we got our main thing here, you'll go ahead and line up the battery. The um, two prongs here, not the battery, and you just simply Click that in, and now you got your device here. 
you can extend it and whatnot. And then you go ahead and take your other end, clip it on, and now you are good to go. So now, as you can see, you have your end here, and you can make it shorter if you want, make it longer if you want, and you are good to go. And it can turn really easy. Rolls very nicely, rolls on carpet very well. So let's go ahead and turn it on. So this is low power mode. You can see it has lights on it and you can see it's spinning. Let's turn it on to higher full power. Now we're gonna try it out on some carpet here. All right, now we're gonna do it on the carpet. And as you can see, it's cleaning very well, even with this thick carpet. It's easy to move around. Now I want to show you guys something. Just, I want to show you how powerful this thing really is. So take a look at this. You see this? This is the dog fur that it picked up. So that is just the filter. Let's go ahead, put it down in here so we can twist everything else out. Pull the whole thing out. So once you line it up, you can pull everything out. So we pull everything out. Take a look at this. And you can, I don't know if you can see the dirt inside, but that's dirt that it picked up already. And we just got started. So that shows you the power of the suction with this, even though it's cordless and it's battery operated. So they gave us the second filter for free, which is really nice. Now you also have your other hose end and you have different extensions here as well and the screws are for mounting um, are for mounting your charging station in place that way it doesn't move around or anything so yeah it's pretty simple if you want to hook up just your hose for sofas your vehicle and whatnot uh, for that you would basically just simply connect this end to your actual vacuum and you just turn it until it clips in place so then you would have this end that would connect with your long nozzle and it extends so if you're doing sofas or whatnot just go around and clean underneath so you can use this for a lot of different at, um, things you also got your other brush that clips on as well so you use it with that and last but not least you have your miniature vacuum cleaner here that will power it so that's for doing stuff on your hands and knees that are up close But you can also disconnect that, and you can also disconnect this, and you can use this shorter with this end as well, just like this. 
So you have this end for moving around. If you want to extend it for reaching your ceiling or whatnot, whatever you want to use it for. So there's so much uses for this, so many different um, applications for it. I'm actually really impressed with this, um, especially the charging station. Uh, it's definitely really nice. So a lot of people are wondering, well, how do you charge it? You know, what's the best way to set up the charging station? Well, there's two options. You could have it on the floor like this, so you can mount this on a wall, and then you just simply, um, let's see what go like this. It would simply connect to your wall. So you would have it mounted on the wall like this, and you know, every time you are Connecting, you just simply lay it up against it like that, or you can have it on the floor, um, somewhere long ways on the floor, and then every time you can simply disconnect this part and just have it on the floor like that, or you can have it on the wall like that and just disconnect this part. There's so many different ways that you can mount this and you can set up the charging station. So you have to decide what you want to work what's best for you um, but overall this is very beautiful I like it I definitely give it an 8 out of 10 for the start and we'll update it in a couple months but it's definitely really powerful for being battery very versatile you know it, it, you can use it for so much different things highly recommend it I'm very impressed with the first initial uh, review and use of it it's definitely surpassed what I thought I was going to uh, be giving it. I didn't think I was going to give it a f man. I mean, we're, we're definitely an 8 out of 10, so definitely a 4.1, 4.2 stars out of 5. And it's very beautiful, too. So, thank you guys. I'll put a link in the video description if you're interested. Okay, now I will show you how it looks. We have it set up. So, I mounted. It directly onto our wall as you can see it's charging so when we want it we just simply press down the silver button here and it's ready to go when we're done we just line it up lock it in place and it will start charging and be ready for the next time highly recommend it very impressed very very impressed and I cannot forget to mention, so this is supposed to hold your extensions and your other tools here. Look at that.